So Capcom just had a presentation. It's called Capcom Showcase 2022, according to YouTube. And in it, they released and announced a whole bunch of new Resident Evil stuff. Now, for those of you that don't know, I absolutely love Resident Evil. It was the first franchise that I remember being obsessed with as a child. On this channel, I reacted to the Resident Evil 4 trailer. You should check that out. I also did a video talking about the top five things that I think that the Resident Evil 4 remake needs to do. You should also check that out. And I want to thank the, the people that sent this to me, multiple people actually. So thank you for letting me know that this exists. There's been so much new gaming content being announced and revealed that I just can't keep up. So if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't have saw this for another two, three, four, five, six, seven days. And you wanted to know my thoughts on it, so that's what I'm going to do. I watched the presentation, I watched the full 14 minute long video, and my god, it's such a great time to be a Resident Evil fan. Not only is this a great year to be a Resident Evil fan, but let's just be thankful as Resident Evil fans. It's a great era to be a Resident Evil fan. Ever since Resident Evil 7 Biohazard came out in 2017, I believe, it's just been nothing but good things for Resident Evil in terms of video games. There was a time where Resident Evil, you know, took a back seat where it wasn't the king of survival horror like it should be. Like Resident Evil Revelations and Revelations 2 are great games, but let's not fool ourselves. They're very low quality in terms of what Resident Evil should be. I'm just very thankful that we, again, live in an era where Capcom is taking their Resident Evil franchise very, very seriously, and every game that they release is just good quality and beautiful, and you can tell there's just such a love and passion thrown into it, and just love and passion from the fan base being given back to Capcom. It's just, again, it's just a great era to be a Resident Evil fan. So a lot of things were announced in this video. The first thing of which that I'll talk about briefly is that Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Resident Evil 3 Remake are getting next-gen upgrades, which is incredibly cool. What's also really cool is that if you're a PS4 slash PS5 owner like myself, they're free upgrades. Now, I'm not sure if that's the case for Xbox or PC. I'm sure it probably is. I just can't tell you for sure. But these new updates include new 3D audio, ray tracing, 4K, and I'm not 100% sure because it didn't say so in the video. But I did Google it afterwards and I saw multiple sources say that the PS5 versions also include haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, which if that's the case, that's just incredible. And it's so cool that it's free as well. Like they didn't have to make them free. They could have charged you a $10 upgrade, a $15 upgrade for the love of God. They could have released them and made you pay full price if they really wanted to. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and Resident Evil 2 Remake specifically are some of the best games in the Resident Evil franchise period. And I really enjoyed the Resident Evil 3 Remake. So I'm really looking forward to getting back into those and just seeing them brought to life in a different way. The next thing that I'll talk about is they released and they revealed a little bit more of Resident Evil 4 gameplay. Not a lot, just, you know, very brief shots of Leon walking around the woods. And it looks beautiful, you know what I mean? It looks really, really good. And then they showed the trailer again, you know, it was more or less the same exact trailer that I already reacted to, but there was a new image at the end and it was this image right here of Leon turning around. I think he looks really, really cool. I think this could be the best Resident Evil game in terms of character arc, if that makes sense. Because the Resident Evil games are great. If you're into that world, you like the plot, but no Resident Evil game, for the most part, there are some, I'm not, obviously there are some, but Resident Evil for the most part has never given you strong very memorable character arcs for a character when it comes to how they are when they start the game and how they are when the game ends. I think if Resident Evil 4, I think if the writing is done properly, it could be phenomenal and it could make Leon going from just sort of like a cult classic fan favorite character to Resident Evil fans to being one of the greatest video game characters of all time. Especially if they handle his PTSD well, especially if they handle how he's evolved and changed since the events of Resident Evil 2 Remake, make him more badass, keep that witty, sarcastic element that he had in the original game, but make him a bit more human, a bit more emotional. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the new Resident Evil 4 footage. Now let's get in to Actually, before we get into the main thing, let's talk about Resident Evil Reverse. They said that Resident Evil Reverse will be released the same time as the Resident Evil 8 Gold Edition. And, uh, you know, Reverse, I see a lot of people shitting on it. I see a lot of people saying it doesn't look that great, which you're not wrong, but I just consider this a bonus. You know what I mean? It's free. It's free if you own Village. You're not paying for it. I bet it'll be fun. I bet if you're a Resident Evil fan, it will be fun. It looks a lot. It doesn't look a lot in terms of gameplay, but it reminds me a lot of Resident Evil Resistance that came out for the PS3 remake. I mean, the Resident Evil 3 remake, where it just looks like you're going to have fun. It looks like you can spend a week getting lost, getting addicted to it, and then never play it again. But, you know, it's free, and you'll remember that week you played it fondly. Now let's get into the main element that they released, the Resident Evil Village Gold Edition and with it the Winter's Expansion. One of the things that we get with this that looks incredibly 
cool is Shadows of Rose. It's a brand new story DLC to Resident Evil 8 Village where you play as Ethan's daughter Rose, where it's played from a third person perspective, which is really, really cool. Now, a lot of people, including me, speculated that based on the end of Village, yeah, eventually you would play as Rose. I was expecting that to be its own standalone game to come out sometime in the future. I wasn't expecting it to be a DLC added on to Village coming out so soon. I'm not complaining though, the story looks really, really cool. I really, really like that it's from a third person perspective. However, it does look like more, it's gonna more or less be an asset flip because it looks like it's taking place in, in the Village in the same areas, but I'm not gonna really complain. You know what I mean? Like. I'm not going to complain. It's a cool map. It's a cool location. I'm sure they can make it make sense narratively. Rose has some incredibly cool powers. I bet it's going to be really fun gameplay wise. Now, next we have mercenaries. They're adding new characters to the mercenaries mode. They're adding a uh, Heisenberg, Chris Redfield, and of course, Lady Dimitrescu. Now, I'm not going to lie. I really, really liked mercenaries mode in the original Resident Evil 4 and the original Resident Evil 5. I've yet to really dabble with it in any of the games afterwards. I have not played Mercenaries mode in Village if it exists already. I, I believe it does. I think this is just adding on to it, not adding it for the first time. However, it looks fun and I'm going to play it. I'm sure playing as Heisenberg and Lady D is going to be incredibly fun. My camera just died, so I just had to charge it for a while, but I'm back now. Anyway, the final thing that was announced, but most certainly not the least exciting thing that was announced, and that is the third person perspective mode for the entirety of Resident Evil 8 Village. It's certainly one of the most innovative Resident Evil games in a long, 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 long time. And I just cannot wait to get back into it from a third person perspective mode to play it like a traditional Resident Evil game, especially if it feels like, now this is my one concern. It might not feel like it's meant to be played in a third person perspective. I really hope it doesn't feel like just a really good quality mod, if that makes sense. I really, really hope that when you're playing it, it doesn't feel off. But I'm sure they put enough effort into it to make it feel like you're playing a true traditional classic Resident Evil experience from a third person perspective mode it's gonna be like the Resident Evil 4 VR version where it's like an amazing game and you just finally get to play it in a completely different way that completely reinvents it and makes it feel like a completely brand new game while also being just the same game you love just experienced in a different way and that is the thing that I'm excited for the most not in terms of everything Resident Evil related that has been announced recently the thing I am excited for the most is the Resident Evil 4 remake but besides that just being able to play Resident Evil Village in third person I, I didn't know this was coming out. I Apparently, people have been asking for it, according to the video. They're like, people have been wanting this, so we're giving it to you. I didn't know that. I'm glad people were asking for it, because I'm so happy it exists. Thank you again to the people that sent me this, and uh, consider subscribing to the page if you like this video. I absolutely love Resident Evil. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If there's ever anything Resident Evil related to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. And I like talking about gaming in general every now and then, especially if it's a horror game. If it's a horror game, chances are I'm probably going to talk about it at some point on this channel. But this channel is mainly trailer reactions, TV show discussions, movie discussions, that sort of thing. So if those things interest you as well, consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments. I want to know what Resident Evil thing are you looking forward to the most? Is it the RE4 remake? Is it being able to play Village in third person? Is it Shadows of Rose? Or is it Reverse? Please let me know. I really want to know. And uh, just thank you for watching.